The privatization of British Rail took place between 1994 and 1997. The franchising system worked by taking the each sector from the three subsidiaries that ran under British Rail in the past and making them a separate franchise and then awarding those franchises to different to private companies. The three subsidiaries were Intercity, Network Southeast and Regional Railways. Firstly, we are going to be covering Intercity. Intercity was separated into seven divisions. One of them is East Coast, which after sectorization became its own franchise. The first company to win and operate services on the Intercity East Coast franchise was Sea Containers, operating under the name Great Northeastern Railway, or GNER. GNER ran services from London King's Cross Station to Glasgow and Edinburgh along the East Coast mainland via Peterborough, Doncaster, York and Newcastle. There were also services that ran to Leeds, Hull, Aberdeen and Inverness. They used Class 43 HSTs, Class 91s, as well as Mark 3 and Mark 4 carriages. They also used a few Class 373 units on their King's Cross to York and Leeds line. Unfortunately, the Hatfield rail crash and Selby rail crash in the early 2000s caused GNER's reputation and passenger numbers to drop and bundled with financial struggles caused sea containers to enter bankruptcy in November 2006 and GNER was stripped of the franchise in December 2006 but continued to run services until December 2007 when the company was replaced by a new franchisee. The company that had took over the franchise from GNER was National Express, running under the name National Express East Coast. Rolling stock and most service patterns remained the same, just with an extra service to Harrogate, Bradford and Skipton via Leeds, as well as a service to Lincoln. Due to even more financial struggles because the East Coast route was unprofitable, National Express weren't able to hold them to the franchise. This time, the Department for Transport had to intervene and establish a pump flip company to take over operating the East Coast franchise from National Express, also known as nationalisation. So in November 2009, the DFT took over. In November 2009, the DFT took over operations of the East Coast franchise from National Express, under the name East Coast. East Coast bought many amenities such as free Wi-Fi and complimentary catering for first-class passengers. Because it was a nationalised franchise, it also bought a revised and improved timetable. Due to the success of East Coast, the Ministry of Transport stated their plans to retender the franchise and return to a private franchisee, and so in March 2015, the franchise had passed over and was now privatised again. A joint venture between Virgin and Stagecoach had taken over as the new operator of the East Coast franchise under the name Virgin Trains East Coast. However, once again, due to financial struggles, Virgin and Stagecoach weren't able to keep the franchise. In November 2017, it was announced that the franchise was going to be terminated three years early and replaced by the East Coast Partnership. But during February 2018, the situation was getting urgent as Stagecoach and Virgin weren't going to be able to survive much longer and they needed a last minute resort until the ECP could begin in 2020. And so in May 2018, the DFT took over and renationalized the franchise again. In May 2018, the DFT took over the East Coast franchise from Virgin and Stagecoach, running under the current brand name London Northeastern Railway. This company was intended to provide services until the East Coast partnership could commence in 2020, but in June 2019, it was announced that LNER had been giving a, given a direct award to run services until 2025. Services had mostly remained the same, but on May 2019, most of the previous East Coast rolling stock were being replaced by Hitachi Class 800 NATO ones. And that's it for the East Coast franchise. The next franchise we will be covering is the Intercity West Coast franchise, which was first won by a joint venture between Virgin Group and Stagecoach, running under the name Virgin Trains West Coast. Services ran from London Euston Station to Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool, Preston, Carlisle, Glasgow and Edinburgh via the West Coast Mainline. Their rolling stock consisted of Class 43 HSTs, 47, 57, 87 and 86 and Class 90s as well as Mark II and Mark III carriages. Virgin has started replacing their stock over the years with Class 221 Super Voyages and Class 390 Pendolinos. In November 2016, the government announced that the franchise would be replaced by the West Coast Partnership, which would include operating High Speed 2. In April 2019, Stagecoach had revealed that they were disqualified from the bidding of the West Coast Partnership, and since it was after the bidding deadline, Virgin Trains West Coast had to cease operations in March 2020. 
In August 2019, the West Coast Partnership franchise had been awarded to First Group and Trinitalia, with services beginning in December of the same year under the current name of Anti West Coast. Most services that were run by Virgin Trains West Coast were kept the same, but with an added service to Shrewsbury and Blackpool North, as well as running services on High Speed 2 when the first phase of it opens. The rolling stock had also stayed the same, with all trains getting a new livery. The next franchise we will be covering is the Midland Mainline franchise, which was won by National Express and started operations in April 1996 under the name Midland Mainline. They operated routes from London's St Pancras station to Luton, Bedford, Corby, Leicester, Derby, Nottingham and Sheffield via the Midland Mainline. They used Class 43 HSTs, Class 222 Meridian units as well as Mark III carriages. In November 2007, the rail franchising map was being redrawn and as a part of that the Midland Mainline franchise was merged with some services from Central Trains to create the new East Midlands franchise and the services from Midland Mainline were transferred to the new franchise. The new franchisee was Stagecoach running services under the name East Midlands Trains. New local services from Central Trains that were merged with the Midland Mainline routes included services to Liverpool Lime Street, Norwich, Crewe, Matlock, Newark, Lincoln, Worksop, Skegness, Grimsby Town, Peterborough and Doncaster. Class 153, 156 and 158 units were used on these local lines, whilst the Midland Mainline routes still used the Class 43 HSTs and Class 222s. During the bidding process of the East Midlands franchise, just like what happened with the West Coast franchise, Stagecoach was disqualified from the bidding of the East Midlands franchise, meaning that the franchise would be going to a new franchisee. The new franchisee was Abellio, running services in August 2019 under the current name East Midlands Railway. New branding was introduced on trains with services out of London being branded EMR Intercity and the other services being branded as EMR Regional. The Class 180 was added to the EMR Intercity fleet and the Class 170 was added to the EMR Regional fleet. The next franchise we are going to cover is Intercity Great Western, which was originally owned by Great Western Holdings, operating under the name Great Western Trains. And then in 1998, Great Western Holdings shares were bought out by First Group. First Group started operating the Great Western franchise under the name First Great Western, operating services out of London Paddington Station to Reading, Swindon, Cardiff, Swansea, Bath, Bristol, Exeter, Plymouth and Penzance via the Great Western Mainline using Class 43 HSTs and Mark III carriages. In April 2006, the Great Western franchise was merged with the Thames Trains franchise and Wessex Trains franchise to become the new Greater Western franchise, which was awarded to First Group so the branding stayed the same, but there were now new services to Windsor, Henley, Marlow, Redhill, Galwick Airport, Basingstoke, Oxford, Banbury, Cheltenham Spa, Worcester, Hereford, Westbury, Salisbury, Southampton, Portsmouth, Brighton, Weymouth, Western Super Mare, and Seven Beach, as well as Exmouth, Barnstable, Paynton, Gunnis Lake, Lew, Newquay, Falmouth Docks, and St Ives, with the route from Oxford to Bista being transferred to Children Railways in May 2011. They had inherited the class 142, 143, 150 and 153 from First Great Western Link and Wessex trains, but eventually replaced them with class 158s and 165s and 166s, and in around 2014 to 2018 new Hitachi class 800 and 802 trains had replaced the class 43s on the intercity lines with them being moved to the Cardiff to Bristol and Exeter to Penzance lines. In 2015, First Great Western was fully rebranded to the name Great Western Railway, with the new logo and green livery, now used on all current trains. In May 2018, TFL Rail took over Heathrow Connect services to Hayes and Harlington, and later to Heathrow Airport, and then in December 2019, they took over stopping services to Reading. Okay.